Hey there, I just want to show you uh, two quick things about your dashboard. The first is that by default in the dashboard columns, I, J, K are visible. And this tracks the percentage complete for each course rubric based on the tab. So in this particular course, the instructional designers tab, faculty tab, and reviewer tab, this will be the percent complete that the reviewer has done on the design rubric. So since that's of no interest to you, I've rewritten the code so that every time you open this document, it will hide columns I, J, and K. So when the time comes where you want to have the design rubric, you're going to want to unhide these columns. And so you can either every time you do it, just you know click on this double arrow and it will unhide columns. But programmatically, it's a little bit easier and it's not hard. You just click on Tools, go to Script Editor. And I assure you this is not hard even if you have no coding experience. And then you're going to scroll down and I kind of blocked out the code right here. And right now it's on lines 241 through 260. So you can just highlight these and you can uh, what's known as comment them out. And uh, to do that, you just hit control and then the slash. And you can see that it has put slashes here. And that just means the code's not going to run. Um, and you can see the color has changed to kind of a maroonish. So if I undo it, now the code turns like blue and black. And that means it will indeed run. So uh, once again, just highlight those rows and hit control and in the biz we call that whack that's that symbol right there once that's done save it and now whenever the dashboard runs it will or, I'm sorry whenever the dashboard opens it will not execute this code so then the columns will not be hidden the other thing that you need to know is that your rubric by default and I just created a dummy course here your rubric by default reveals only the accessibility in the action plan for accessibility. So if you want to change that, and I'm going to close this, don't worry, I'll delete this particular course. When you want to change this, when you want to change this, go to your Google Drive and you should have a folder called rubrics and normally you would just open up this file, but oh, double click on rubrics. This file right here is what is copied every single time you create a new course. So go into that document and you can hide and reveal whatever pages you want. So you'd probably want to reveal instructional designer and you probably want to reveal faculty, reviewer, and the action plan and possibly the course profile which uh, by default is usually visible. Uh, but for your specific needs I hid all of these sheets. And Again there's no program going on here. All you have to do is go into your rubrics folder, open up this document, whatever change you make will appear on any subsequent rubric that you generate. 